Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Youngblood and welcome to this week's edition of Tuesdays at 2. As you might have gathered, we have a little holiday theme going on here and no, it's not too early to start thinking about the holidays. In fact, if you haven't started thinking about holiday promotions for your business, you're kind of behind. But don't worry because today I'm sharing with you ho 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 to prep your business for the holidays in five easy steps. <clears throat> that was my Santa impression there. I've been working on it. All right, guys, step number one, shine a light on upcoming holiday specials. Okay, so hopefully you have some things prepped. Now, I'll tell you a story. Last Thursday, I came home from work and checked the mail. This is November 1st, the day after Halloween, and there in my mailbox was a Christmas catalog for a local furniture company. Now, of course, I thought too soon, but of course, I still went through it anyways, and they had some cute Christmas decor pieces that I might end up buying, and it's not because they're the cheapest, and it's not because they're the cutest, it's because they got to me first. So if you have some holiday promotions or sales planned, start getting the word out on that stuff right now, whether it's putting it in your email communications or even on your social media channels. And also, our partner Moo, you can still use them to make some really beautiful holiday postcards or flyers that'll still get to you and you'll still be able to get them out before the holidays. And we can hook you up with a 20% off promo code on that. So go to the link shown on the screen right now to score that 20% off at Moo. It's pretty awesome. All right, step number two. Yay, all vacations, availability, and hours. That means make sure you have your days off scheduled in the calendar, as well as all of your employees scheduled in the calendar right now. And also, most importantly, make sure you update your operating hours over the holidays right now. You don't want somebody coming to your store or trying to get a hold of you on a day that you're closed because they don't know or vice versa, or they don't come in and contact you because they think you're closed when you're really open. So make sure you update that right now. And speaking of customers, step number three, defrost your customer service. Now, we all know everybody gets a little edgy and stressed during the holidays, and we've all had a bad experience with a sales associate, whether it's at a store we love or a retailer we love, and it puts us off, right? So, you know, take the time right now to have a chat with your team about this. Make sure they can answer questions that customers may ask. Make sure they know your expectations that you have, the standard that you want to set this holiday season. And then it's also a nice time to reward your customers with a little something extra, maybe the regulars, whether it's a surprise discount or free gift wrap. Something like that goes a long way and it's pretty inexpensive. And speaking of inexpensive, those little things like patience and a friendly smile really go a long way during the holidays. All right, step number four, sharpen up your season's greetings. It's a really nice and thoughtful gesture to send out some sort of messaging to your clients or even your customers over the holidays. Of course, a beautiful card or a specific email is great, but maybe try something a little more fun and festive, like a simple gift with purchase or a customized video. So another one of our partners, Fiverr, is perfect for this. You can go to Fiverr and pick somebody out that can make you a customized holiday video, whether it's uh, Santa actually saying your business name and speaking to the message that you want to say, or it could be a compilation of photos from your business over the past year or a comp video compilation of highlights over the past year. Go to Fiverr. They can make this happen for you, and it's darn affordable, too. And we can also hook you up with a discount there. Visit the link shown on the screen and get that. All right, our final step, number five, add a dash of decor. Clearly, we followed this step already. You know, whether it's a wreath on your door, a snowman on your desk, even if you work from home, adding a little holiday sparkle to your space will get you in that holiday spirit every time you work. So again, if you have a storefront, do some decorations. If you're only online, update your social channels with some holiday, you know, you can change your cover photo on Facebook, you can update your profile image on Insta Stories, you can create a stories highlight that's only speaking to holidays. There's great opportunities there even if you're only online. It's not too early. And if somebody comments that it's too early, it's a great conversation starter with a potential new customer. So there you go, guys. Those are five ways your business can prepare for the holidays right now. So tell me and be honest, have you started listening to Christmas carols yet?
for listening to them today. It's pretty nice, actually. <laughs> Have you, you know, started some holiday marketing? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories. And until next week, I'll see you. I'm Leslie Youngblood. Bye.